I've got to say, I have no idea why people are panic buying. There just doesn't seem to be any logic behind it, and there doesn't seem to have been anything anybody said that's triggered it. All the same, we know that supermarket shelves have been emptied right across the country. It's gone on for days now, despite calls for calm, perhaps fuelled by calls for calm. People have been panic buying and stripping shelves bare. And for the life of me, I don't understand why toilet paper seems to be the prime target. A rush on toilet rolls. I mean, just take a look at this. This is just nuts. There were reports that police were called to a supermarket this afternoon in Sydney. Now, this is not the sort of sensible behaviour we expect in this country. It's a novel twist, isn't it, on that old British wartime poster, keep calm and buy toilet paper. I reckon it's better to listen to the experts. There is no evidence of widespread community transmission in the, in the Australian community and we are trying to reassure people that uh, removing all of the lavatory paper from the shelves of supermarkets probably isn't a proportionate or sensible thing to do at this time. Nicely understated. Now, with more cases popping up, though, and the latest one, an aged care worker in the very same suburb as these uh, Sydney studios here at Sky News, and tests are going to determine whether a 95-year-old woman who passed away in that aged care home last night was actually infected. We don't know yet. Now, while all this goes on, the government continues to fine-tune its response. The government has moved quickly uh, to protect the health of Australians. And, Mr Speaker, equally, uh, we have been moving to fully understand the economic impacts of this, of this very significant event. Authorities are now telling people arriving from Iran to self-isolate for a fortnight, but a case in Tasmania shows the human weaknesses in all of this. A 40-year-old man arrived from Iran, was tested at Launceston Hospital and was sent home for self-isolation until the test came in. On the way home, he went to the supermarket to stock up on supplies. And subsequently, the tests confirmed he has the virus. He's now back in hospital. Authorities say they were disappointed by his visit to the supermarket, but believe that they reckon the chances of other people being infected are pretty low. Self-isolation obviously has its limits, unless people get some help when it comes to shopping and otherwise taking care of themselves. We're going to have to get better at either making that clear to people or providing them with some help.